Alright, so, Aru. And I wanted to make this quick video for you guys um, to warn you about the Midsummer Treasure Event or Midsummer Adventure. What's what's it called? M Midsummer Island Adventure Event. Okay, there we go. <laughs> okay, yeah, so the Midsummer Island Adventure Event. And to warn you guys that this event is indeed running on a timer yes that this is a time limited event okay now i know that some of you guys already know this and are already on your way to maximizing this event but i'm not seeing any videos regarding this or maybe like a quick warning but it hasn't been the main topic of other videos it's mostly um, dusted away or something. Oh, I don't know the term. It's it's very uh, it's a last thought, you know. So I want to talk about this event and why you guys might want to start looking up guides and tutorials on what like every mini game puzzle, um, every challenge and well, um, the the searching things, the searches, the the well, the, the <laughs> there a bunch of a bunch of stuff. There's a lot of stuff and all that jazz um, regarding this event. Because this event is going to last until June 29. So, well, about a month. Yeah. And it's already, what, as of recording this, it's June 12. So you guys only have about 20 more days, I guess, to finish this event. And most likely, after that, Inazuma is gonna come out. I don't know. Probably. Uh, I don't know. Probably, I guess. So it's gonna come, uh, whatever. It's gonna come after this event. And this event is not a slouch either. I mean, <laughs> there's there's a lot to do in this event, and uh, that doesn't even include all the chests uh, the, and the smaller things that you can do here. Like there's some puzzles, there's some challenges, that there's some random chests. I mean, that you can find just sitting in some corner <laughs> of a tall, skinny mountain. <laughs> and if you guys haven't noticed, this map is all about tall and skinny mountains. If you don't start looking for all those chests then uh, you're gonna lose out on some primo gems and if you're someone who bides their time and would want to enjoy uh, this event you might miss uh, a good chunk of primo gems after this event if you're looking through if you're not looking through every nook and cranny of uh, this new area I mean this area is small but it's uh, what's this it's very vertical and you, you got these weird caves just chilling, um, hiding in plain sight. You don't you won't even notice some of these. And some islands that are really far away from the main ones. Like there's there's an island like on the corner, and you're gonna have to go there. And obviously there's gonna be some challenges there and some chests. And you're gonna want and you're gonna want to get those. Obviously for primo gems. And well, it's only been day two of the, of this event and there's a lot there's like how many more uh three i think there's three more days after this event i mean after day two and right now day two there's already a lot of stuff that you have to do and find and search and finish and solve <laughs> it's very surprising that we're not keeping this event and I, i'd like to keep this so i can uh how do you say this so I can enjoy, yeah, so I can enjoy the event, but uh, sadly, yes, we're on a timer and we have to finish every uh, everything in this game to 100%. Like, this is probably the first uh, area, I guess, that they gave us that we have to quickly finish uh, within a timer as well. There's also uh, Kazuha materials as uh, from, my, well, from what I've heard uh, to form here as well, like those dandelions and the the new the new mats like the new blue things that's near the shore I, I don't know what those are but you're that but uh, we're probably gonna need those uh, later on after this event after well after 1.6 and Inazuma comes out we're prob we're probably gonna need those uh, obviously there's gonna be more coming and if you're free if you're free to play uh, or well can play player <laughs> I don't know what uh, what we're gonna call that uh, like me I only do Welkin and I don't do BP I only did uh, the battle pass like once just for the bow and yeah if you're free to play or cheap budget to play <laughs> every primo gem counts 
like <laughs> the spare change meme is quite real and we rough out here in the <laughs> in the streets of free to play and every primo gem counts like every every single primo gem like if it's one primo gem yes it's gonna count and i know that you guys know that whatever's gonna come after this event is gonna be great obviously and we're all waiting for it and in azuma right but now um this event is only going to last until the 29th of june right like i've said a while ago a time limited event so uh, farm every material you can, um, finish those events, finish those challenges, uh, get as many primo gems as you can, uh, save up from <laughs> save up for uh, Kazuha or Yaomiya or Ayaka or Sayu, I don't know, whichever you guys want. And make sure that you guys sweep this event clean and <laughs> none be left apart from some uh, some hilly churls and your boat, I guess. So yeah, that's all this video is going to be about because um, I think this event is really good and it, it's just sad that we're on a timer and we can't play this event like we did on Teyvat like right now I haven't even done 100% of every area in uh, Teyvat yeah so that's gonna be it for this video hope you guys get your primos and I wish you guys the best of luck in your pulls later on and I'll see you guys later. Alright, bye!